Do you live in New Jersey and you've heard that there's a solar eclipse coming up and you're wondering, am I going to be able to see any of the solar eclipse? Well, you've come to the right place because I'm Professor Capco and I'm going to tell you just how much of the solar eclipse you're going to be able to see in New Jersey. But first, I want to say that I believe something wonderful is going to happen for you today. So be on the lookout for it. And now, back to the video. As I mentioned, uh, there is a solar eclipse coming up next week, and that is on Monday, April 8th, 2024. And it is going to be a total solar eclipse in some parts of the United States. And let's take a look at this map to see whether or not New Jersey is going to get any of the total solar eclipse. Now, I have done a video about a little bit more general about the eclipse, and I've linked it up here in the right-hand corner. So you may want to start there and take a look at that one. But let's talk today about New Jersey specifically. So the eclipse, like I said, is this coming Monday. And yes, you will be able to see quite a bit of the eclipse on Monday in New Jersey. Here is a map, and let me go ahead and zoom in on this map. You can see that there's some gradations between the two different areas and how much of the eclipse that you're going to be able to see. Now, with the eclipse, the moon is blocking out the sun. So, on the path of totality, the sun is completely blocked out. New Jersey is not on the path of totality. However, it will get quite a bit of the eclipse. This northern portion of New Jersey will get more of the sun blocked out than this more southern part of New Jersey. And let's look at maybe some of the cities to see and get an idea of how much of the sun that will be blocked out. But first, I want to warn you that the sun, even during the eclipse, unless you're under the totality, is going to still be as bright as the sun always is. So it is not safe to look at the sun with your naked eyes, nor is it safe to just point your camera or your camera phone up at it because it could damage your electronic equipment. and uh, But more importantly, I don't want to see you damage your eyes. So you need to pick up some special protective eyewear. I've got some of it linked down in the description. You can get it there, or if you got the right kind of device, it'll show up also on the screen. And you're going to want to get that right away because um, it may take a while for them to ship it out and they're running out. There may not be enough for everyone. So you want to get that sooner rather than later. Get that ordered and get those Eclipse glasses so you can protect your eyes. Regular sunglasses will not protect your eyes in this circumstance. So you've got to get Eclipse glasses and make sure they're properly certified. And in that prior video, I talked about that certification. So as for New Jersey, we can see that the first tip of New Jersey is here, uh, Artificial Island is going to start getting the eclipse at 2.07 p.m. Eastern Daylight Savings Time. Here is the portion of New Jersey that will be the last part of the partial eclipse, and that will end at 4.36 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, and that's near Palisades. Let's take a look at some of the cities in New Jersey to get an idea of how much of the sun is going to be covered up as a percentage basis. Atlantic City is going, going to have 85.35% of the sun covered at maximum. Elizabeth is going to get 90% of the sun covered at maximum. Jersey City will have 90.07% of the sun covered. Newark will receive even more of the sun blocked out at 90.22%. And then 
Patterson is going to have 90.90% of the sun covered. If you're in Trenton, only 89.03% will be covered, but unless your eyes are better than mine, it's going to be hard to tell the difference between 89.3% and 90.90%. Those are going to be pretty similar. Now, none of these will be the same as if you actually go into totality and see the entire sun covered. That's going to be a completely different experience. I am going to be doing that, and hopefully the weather cooperates for all of us, because if it's cloudy out, we won't be able to see it. But if it is clear, I am going to, I am going to make sure I get some video from the eclipse. Regardless of whether you go see the entire eclipse or not, it's still going to be quite a show that nature is putting on. So make sure you take a look at it. Uh, the start time is going to be a little bit after 2 p.m. on Monday, and it will be ending about 4.30 or so on Monday. So make sure you get outside and take a look at it. Protect your eyes. Get those that eye protection. And uh, keep coming back to this channel to check out uh, my videos. I'm going to do more on the eclipse. And like I said, I'm going to travel to the totality and get some video from there that I believe you're going to enjoy. But check it out. Uh, make sure you subscribe because that way you'll get to see these videos when they come out. And I would love for you to support the channel by either getting your merch or getting your eye protection through the links below because I do get a, a small commission or you using those links below, you can support the channel that way. Or more importantly, you can become a member. If you click the join button, that's next to the subscribe button. I have got different perks for the various levels of membership, including you get advanced previews of the videos, as well as a priority in answering your questions. So check it out. If you can, consider becoming a member. If nothing else, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Let's make it an awesome day. Thank you.